Hello, good morning, welcome to another takeaway of the day. Currently 7.30 in the morning, headed to my first estimate of the day and on my way here, I can't help but to start thinking about my conversation with one of my stops yesterday and it has to do with tile selections. So before you finally uh, make a decision on your tile, whether it's your kitchen, your bathroom, uh, powder room, it, it doesn't matter what room in your home, it's really important to understand the materials and understand the maintenance associated with the different materials that you could potentially choose. Thousand feet, continue straight onto East Lower Wacker Drive. So for example, uh, yesterday, a customer had a brown Emperor marble. Brown Emperor marble, if you have it, will tend to uh, lose its luster. It'll lose its luster for two reasons. Number one is usually browns, greens, green serpentine marbles, so on and so forth, those that have a really rich color really look great with color enhancing sealers. Nine times out of 10, they are sealed with color enhancing sealers that give it that rich, vibrant color that you like so much. But it truly is brown, just a muted brown behind it before you introduce the color enhancer. Anyway, he was just wondering why somebody would put that material in the shower. The truth of the matter is that everything falls starting with design. The trends that are going on at the particular time of the build is what's usually going to take um, you know, the precedence over the selection of materials. So for example, in this particular home, brown Emperor marble was a beautiful complement to limestones, travertines. So when homes were being built with that warm look, the wood look, browns, limestones, beautiful, large, uh, chipped grout feet. lines. Continue straight onto East Lower Wacker Drive. You can see how a brown marble would complement that color scheme really nicely. But when it comes to marble, you need to understand the maintenance that's behind it. So it's not that it's not a good fit for the shower. Is, is marble a good fit for the homeowner? Uh, because the truth of the matter is that all of these natural stones are gorgeous. They just react differently in different settings. You can have a white marble uh, shower pan that after a year is gonna look different than the exact same white marble if you were to put it in your dining room. Foot traffic is different. Uh, moisture is different. Uh, you know, what's touching, you know, the, the floor, what's touching the surface of the material of the marble is different. In a shower, when you're taking a shower, all the body oils, they come down and when they go down on your shower pan, your shower pan is designed to pitch towards the drain. That entire area that encompasses the... Per mile, use the left lane to take the ramp to US 41 North North Lake Shore Drive. That entire area that encompasses around the drain now has body oil. Remember, it doesn't matter where it comes from, it's what it is. Back to what I always say about what is it and what it's on. Now it's understanding how it gets there. So a white marble on a shower pan, body oils coming down, sits on the, on the surface. Now you have oil and oil tends to penetrate. Oil-based stains are by far the hardest stains to remove because they penetrate so deeply. So if you have a marble shower pan floor, it's not that you can't install it, it's that you need to know that you need to have it professionally cleaned bare minimum once a year. Whether it looks like it needs it or it doesn't look like it needs it. Uh, what else? So. For somebody, and I'll keep it short so I don't keep writing because boy does this continue to the next, to the next, and I don't want to keep going. So I guess what I would say is if you, if after listening to this, you might want to reconsider, you know, having marble put in your shower, not because it's not good for the shower, but because it's not good for you. Left and at this point, you may want to start looking north, at, then merge on to US 41 North. At this point, you may just want to start looking at beautiful, beautiful natural stone look. Glazed Continue on porcelains. US 41 North for three miles. Glazed porcelains, glazed ceramics. There are very, very, very beautiful, high-end, great-looking ceramics, 
porcelains that look just like natural stone that you couldn't really tell. Nine times out of 10, these materials are higher in cost for the purchase and installation. It's in the long run of the maintenance that you're not gonna need as often where you'll be seeing the difference and then one less thing to do a year. That's kind of how I look at it. If I can see you every two or three years as opposed to every year, great for you, great for us. We'll see you then. So, anywho, uh, with that said, Parkway exit. so with that said, just wanted to you know give a little bit of tidbit conversation it always starts with design currently we're 2020 right now in 2020 what's trending what's in our whites blues sweeping grays gorgeous lines all of the whites in this category are statuaries carreras um uh, 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 greek tassels um and then you got some gorgeous quartz out there quartz sites Know your information before you purchase a gorgeous, gorgeous, very expensive quartzite countertop. Really quick, see, I could just keep going. Really quick, just to touch on quartzite's two things. Definitely near the density of granite, giving you the ability to use it as if you would with granite, with one minor exception. It does etch, not quite as simply as it does on marble, but it does. So, general rule of thumb, the harder it is to etch, the harder it is to restore, the more in labor, the more cost it's gonna cost when it's time to actually have it restored that you will need to have it restored. So something else to think about before finally selecting on the quartzite. Um, however, again, everything stems from colors, starts from there, understand your material, understand the maintenance costs. Do not allow, warning, public service announcement, do not, allow a tile salesman to tell you what's involved in maintenance he only or she mile, only the fullerton parkway exit can give you the general outline that is provided by the tile manufacturer they give you general information it's not always complete i want to say that there's information that's correct but it's Take not the Fullerton always Parkway exit. Then use any lane to turn left onto West Fullerton Avenue. But it's not always complete. And it's not until you use end up Use any calling lane to us. turn left onto West Fullerton Avenue, West Fullerton Parkway. It's not until you end up calling us that you realize what you got, what the maintenance is, and what the true repair costs In a quarter are. mile, turn right onto North Lake View Avenue. I had another customer not yesterday, but the day prior in Naperville. She said that she was told that it was granite. It is not. It is definitely as hard to restore as granite, but it will etch. So, anywho, uh, just trying to be ahead of the curve, give you guys any information. Uh, if you like this information, this content, by all means, I generally take my experiences and my conversations with different customers and I put it out here. So if there's anything that goes on in my day um, that I feel could benefit by sharing that story, I most certainly will. Uh, and until then, if you guys have any questions, anything cleaned, estimates for service, so on and so forth in the Chicago land or near suburbs, we go as far as Lake Geneva, we go down far as Tennessee, it's up to you. 312-612-0274. Check us out. Website, online. Give us a call. Thank you so very much and hope this is helpful.